Hello guys, welcome to Save Your Water Sports. I'm Saviour, this is Giovanni. Hi. And today's um, demonstrational video is going to be on an inflatable SUP seam repair. Ba -ba -ba. So my Saviour uh, inflatable repair kits come with the adhesive that you need, the hardener that you need, the MEK, which is a cleaner and degreaser, and a brush. You will need um, a jug to mix or some kind of mixing cup, some scissors, a PVC which matches your board, some masking tape and some soapy water. So you've realised that your inflatable sup um, is losing pressure or, uh, while it's in storage or while you're on the water. Um, so first of all we need to find out where the leak is. Um, a good thing to do here is uh, get some soapy water in a bottle like I am um, put it all over the board, brush it around, aggregate it a little bit and it will soon be apparent where the puncture is. So once you find an area where it's leaking, um, the bubbles will get bigger. So it's really obvious where the leaks are. Um, just because you found one leak, that doesn't mean to say there isn't more. So the same procedure, keep going over the board just to make sure there isn't any more. So you found where the puncture is, awesome. So the next stage is now to uh, mark out and cut a piece of PVC which matches your repair. So Giovanni is just using a mask, masking tape roll here just to um, mark out a nice circle on the PVC. You need to make sure that the PVC you cut in is at least an inch wider than your puncture. So moving along now, um, you've got a nice circle on your PVC, so just grab yourself a pair of scissors and neatly cut around the circle. And make sure you just test it on the patch where you're going to be putting it on, just to make sure it all fits nice. And if you need to make it any smaller or a different shape, this is the time to do it now. And this is how it should look uh, before you stick it. So once you've cut your uh, PVC, um, that's all good. Now we can take the air out of the board. So you must take the air out of the board. Um, otherwise, when you put your patch on, the air will be blowing out and your repair will not be correct. So once all the air's out, um, a nice little tip here is to put the patch on where you're going to stick it and mark around the patch with a biro just so you know where you're going to stick it in a second. And masking tape around that area also just to um, stop any overflow of glue in a second. Grab your MEK, put your glove on and use a rag to put some MEK on and clean and degrease the area where you are going to be sticking the patch on and also clean and degrease the patch. So once you're happy that everything's nice and clean and good to go, you can now start opening your adhesive and your curing agent and start mixing it. So we always recommend using half of the adhesive and half of the curing agent. That leaves another half for a future repair, bearing in mind that once opened, there is a shelf life of one year. Make sure that you stir this well. So give yourself around 30 or seconds or a minute, making sure you get around the jug and scraping the bottom of the jug. Now onto the fun stuff. Once it's all mixed up, grab your brush and put a nice thin layer on the patch and on the board. You will then leave this around 15 or 20 minutes or until it becomes tacky. We are aiming to do three of these coats. So do the same thing again and leave again for about 15 or 20 minutes. And do it again for the last time. And again, wait until it's tacky. So once you've done three coats and uh, the last coat has gone tacky, it is now time to um, stick the patch on. So this is a really, really important stage. So put the patch on inside your mask area. And using some kind of blunt object, really working the patch in. Making sure it's stuck really well and there's no air pockets trapped in there at all. 
Once you're pretty happy with that, you can start taking the masking tape off. And if you've got a roller of some kind, roller it in as well. And again, all you're trying to do here is making sure that it's pushed down really, really well. And this is what you're aiming for. So the patch is following the curvature of the existing PVC. So once you've done that stage, uh, leave it to dry for a couple of hours and then come back and give it a little clean up. Okay, so um, put your glove on again and little put some MEK on a rag and clean around your patch. Okay, so all you're trying to do here is just clean up any um, bits of glue that might have um, squeezed out the side. After a nice up repair, we always recommend that you leave the uh, board deflated for around about 24 hours before you inflate it. Then inflate the board, you can test the repair with some soapy water, and if you're happy, you're good to get back on the water. So enjoy guys. I just want to thank Giovanni and Rodella Ribs uh, for helping me out finding this um, kit and putting it together. Um, it's a kit that uh, they've been using for a very long time on their ice up repairs um and obviously if there's a repair that you can't do or you don't feel confident in doing give rodella ribs a call and then um, they can they can repair it for you no problem so you can either post it to them or drop it down to them uh, really nice guys um so yeah thank you very much giovanni and um see you in the water soon and obviously don't forget to subscribe like this video there'll be plenty more coming up thank you very much guys